Okay, uh, we're going to be dealing with the issue of plug, plugging a spectrum uh, backplate sensor uh, into a V-bar and not getting satisfactory results. Um, if you use the sensor port on the V-bar, uh, which would be the lower of the two sets of three, you'll want the uh, ground wire toward the outside, as you can see like that. Uh, when you plug it in the V-bar, this port uh, on the V-bar provides, I think, something on the order of like 3.2 volts, something of that nature. Uh, and there, therein lies the problem. The backplate sensors, uh, such as the Spectrum, were designed to work at a little bit higher voltage in order to be 100% effective. So what we're going to need to do is, uh, instead of extracting uh, the voltage from this side of the V-bar, we need to extract, extract it from the other side of the V-bar, the, the normal system bus where you'd be plugging in all the servos. So we'll need to leave the, the uh, signal wire on this side in this plug by itself and then have another plug on the uh, main bus side of the V-bar, if you will, uh, to get the required voltage, which will be uh, 4.8 or, or greater depending on what uh, system voltage you're running. So we'll take this plug out, unplug it, and what we'll do, just to, so we only transfer one instead of two, I'm going to take an extra plug uh, that I procured uh, from a cable I no longer require, and we're going to take out the system plug, we'll remove this one uh, signal wire, take care of that real quick. There we go. So you can see I've got the uh, signal wire out of the plug now. And we want to put it back into the corresponding port on this, which will be the first one. It should snap in. And it did. You can see now you've ended up with this. Okay. Now what we'll need to do is split this a little bit, like so. Give us just the gap we need. We're going to uh, plug the sensor wire, the single sensor wire, there we go, into the sensor port of the V-bar. Let me take care of that on the camera here. You can see how I've got it in there. So lower one signals toward the inside. And then now you can see we're going to wrap this around. And of course you'll have your servos, um, your four servos plugged in, possibly depending on your installation throttle servo, etc. So you'll just find an empty port, plug it in the ground up, and now you're getting system voltage signal coming in here, system voltage from the system bus. This is going to make your backplate sensor work correctly. So if this helps, if anybody's having any issues, I don't claim uh, any credit on this. I actually believe uh, Mr. Mel or somebody did a video on this before because I have seen it somewhere. But uh, that should take care of your sensor problems. It helps with the line magnets as well. Uh, the align pickup when you're using magnets. Um, if you're not getting satisfactory results, you can try this. A little bit extra juice uh, seems to make these uh, sensors work better. So hope this helps. Have a good one. Bye.